Okay, my game is really slow right now. Look at that frame rate. It dropped like a rock. There's got to be... Uh, processes are running on my computer, like uh, that Windows... What's it called? Bit Defender or something? Uh, they run and they slow down my machine because I don't have an SSD drive on my laptop. So I got to figure out what the process is and kill it. But it looks like it's okay now. Okay, so this is the WZ1111FT. This is a Chinese uh, Tier 8 tank destroyer. The map is Frontline, Epic Normandy. Uh, so hopefully we'll have a good game. Obviously, I'm in a platoon with Gat, General Z, and Fort Killer. They're two of the top players in the game. So if they don't get general, we will laugh at them later. Looks like this... I could have sworn you could hit those guys from here. They must have changed. Oh. Never use auto aim. Did they change the layout of the... of the map or something? So you could, yeah, they did. You can no longer hit tanks over there. Jay Holtz. Good job, Wargaming. Okay, so that position's gone. Just gonna fire. Oh, come on, I got ripped. Okay, so why have this position over here if you can't snipe from here? Now, that all they did was made the position so you can't use it anymore. I guess that's balance. Oh, okay, so um, I thought that C was too difficult to cap. So now they made it more difficult. Yeah, that's they did a good job with the thinking there. It looks like two of my allies left because they're probably Anakums. And Anakums always do what's best for themselves, which means they went to another flank uh, where they can uh, get more targets and they care about their own survival. They don't want to be on the difficult flank. The noobs are just going to sit here not knowing what to do. The Anakums leave. I know when to leave. Okay, so he's out of the game. So I guess I got to do some relearning in terms of uh, sniping positions. Can't really see what's going on over here. If I had an HE round, I definitely would have damaged him, but I don't have any HE rounds. see that they are abandoning my cap. You could argue it's good, you could argue it's bad. I mean, we've got lots of targets we're going to shoot at, but uh, it might not be so easy. Do not spawn at sea. Telling my allies not to come here. Uh, missed an easy shot. Yeah, I'm definitely getting out of here. Okay, so I I was hoping that I could go after those guys, set up uh, a position to fire, but I was still spotted, so bad things happen. So I hit him for 573. Uh, letting my allies know they should leave C. I'm going to 
to let the defender know that we know he's there. I've tried playing both on the attacking team and the defending team when it was widely outnumbered. And as an attacker, you, you just don't have anything to shoot at. So why stay? It makes sense to just go somewhere else. Come on, come on. Okay, okay so I'm going to get out of here. Look at these guys. They're coming back to see what are they thinking. I'm going to go. You know what? I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay because, to be honest, I actually love C, and I love my team. You could argue I can't see what is going on. And I know you saw me do those air quotes. You see the amazing power of this engine. I do have another respawn, so if I got to play with these guys, I will. Wow, that SPG hit me for 888 damage. Now, I, I want you to know I'm not trying to play an amazing game or any of that. What I am doing is I am only playing tank destroyers. And I've only played a few games, and I've got to figure out which tank destroyers are going to be the right ones uh, for this game. So we need to clear this out, but a tank destroyer is not the right vehicle to do that. I've got seven tier eight tank destroyers to choose from. And if my team doesn't do a good job, then I can't do a good job. I can only do so much. I can clear these guys out, but these guys might never get spotted, and then I won't be able to help my team out. They're all well protected over there. And look at the Barask hiding behind the rock over here. Using the hide behind the rock strategy. Okay, so the team, my team has returned to here. But I can't hit any of these guys still, so it doesn't matter. Not a complete idiot. Ah! At least I damaged him. That's all that matters is that I damaged him. He's probably got a fast reload. You can see that the auto aim, as usual, does its job. Obviously, I'm not going to go out for that ISU, you know? F him. I'm not stupid. He's just letting that Barask nail him from behind. He thought I'd be an easy target? Come on. I'm not stupid. Yeah, the Barask has to reload. And he's out of the game. At least I got some spotting damage. And we won the flank. And look at that. I'm still at the top of my team. Even with this lousy gameplay. I'm up to 2,200 damage and 1,100 uh, spotting damage. Good job, team. Look at all the injured components. No idea what those diagrams mean. I think this is where they store the food. And this is where the uh, soldiers stand in the movies. They stand on top of the, uh, the rectangular piece. Look at how far I dropped. OK. 
guess what's going to happen to you, buddy? Nice angle. Didn't show an artillery hit on him. I dropped that artillery right on him. I know I am spotted. Oh, F it. I was right near the repair facility. But I have a respawn. What matters is having a respawn. I always go for the tech tree vehicles first, but it's not available. Um, that piece of garbage. It's not a piece of garbage, but still not available. I really don't want to go in with the Udis. Man. Okay, Udis it is. See, my team is advancing. Pros. These things are so accurate, it's crazy. Look how accurate that is from so far away. I don't know where I'm going to have good luck. I'm going to kind of go this way so that I can shoot at the ridge, north of F, and over here. I think I have the most flexibility. Coming this and my team left the flank. Wow, aren't I so lucky to have such a great Anakum team? And they came back. I love my team, they are awesome, They're so loyal. They advance so quickly, I can't keep up with them. This is what SPG is for. No more of that. See how accurate that is? I got a shot. Oh, it bounced. That's unusual. I would jump on him so fast. Come on, loser. Jump on him. You don't even have to look. You just auto aim. Get out of here. He's unlikely to kill me, so I'm going to just sit here. Thumb my nose up at him. I can take one more shot, and then I'm going to go to the repair facility. Ah, I guess I'm not. Okay, so that was a dumb move. I would have gone straight for that repair facility. So one thing about the repair facilities is that it keeps counting even after you respawn. So right now it's available, but if you have like a minute left and then you die and you come back in the game, you still have that whatever time was left. So be aware of that. And they left again. And I moved up again. And I moved out. Look at how quickly they advanced towards that cap. Exploded. Yep. Yeah, I never advance. I always advance on this lower level through that valley. You can get all the way up to here. Never do the higher level. That's what the Anakums do. Thirty seconds. I really don't like being on this flank because they're not going to spot anything. I am playing tank destroyers. It doesn't do me any good. Look at all those. Things. What's going on over here? Why do you need a hundred guys capping? It's such a huge mistake. You don't need that many to cap, and they should be. These guys should be out here doing other stuff. It's better to cap like five versus five. You don't want to cap 20 versus 20. It's a waste of resources. You only need one guy to cap. When the whole team goes ca capping, your team's doing something that uh, is making a mistake. You know the thing. 
pony face liar, dog pony, p pony, dog faced pony liar. Fifteen tanks rush for four. Okay, so I'm gonna blind fire. I think what the hell's going on over there? I think he's right there, so I'm gonna fire over there. I'm sure I damaged him good. Keep on advancing. Another blind shot. Uh, maybe he was climbing up the ridge, so that wasn't really a good shot. Again, nobody's spotting. Um, I can't do everything for my team. And again, I'm, I am playing tank destroyers for a reason, because you guys love tank destroyers. Somebody spot something. I'm afraid of invisible tanks. I'm afraid. Come on. Oh, I fired too soon. I hit I didn't mean to hit the button. Oh, yeah, don't get on the cap. Stay away from the cap. You don't want to do something that might help you win the game. There's five minutes left. We need someone on that cap. They got time to do it, though. We'll be okay. We could win this game. I got 541 damage on the Renegade. Finally got 5600 damage. Nice to be doing some damage again. Okay, heavy artillery, don't reverse anymore. Yeah, I hit him. I definitely hit him, but it's... Oh, okay, so it says 546. Okay, I see. I should have gone for that cap. I could have gotten some uh, prestige and some rank. Moved up. Okay, so the question is, will I get uh, major? A lot of vehicles here. There should be a lot of targets. I'm going to keep that gun firing. Yeah, you know, sitting out can make you fall dramatically, and, it, and you have to play catch-up. So you don't want to be out of the game. However, I'm going to use the example with SPG. You can watch, watch my SPG games. When I play SPG on the defending team, I'm always number one, general, at the top. When I'm attacking, I'm always at the bottom. Because attacking with SPG, you are really heavily dependent on your team. It was very It's very difficult with SPG on the attacking team. Uh, sometimes I forget to take my medicine. Um, for those of you who don't listen to my channel, um, I have a small addiction to crack cocaine. So if I don't take it, my gameplay performance goes down. <laughs> what do you think about this for a blind shot? That would be so funny if I killed him. Got 17 rounds. It looks like he's behind a house or something, so. Yeah. I could see the splash. I'm sure you did, too. 
Okay, so there's going to be nobody to, uh, oh, this is supposed to be a lot of tanks over here. Yeah, he's behind a building. He's a dog-faced pony liar. Come on. I can't see what's going on over there. Something in the way. I couldn't tell what it was. Oh, it was part of the house. Being spotted is really bad. Could easily hurt me. Yeah, look at that. Long aim time, but he's out of the game. Well, oh, that sucks. Got cheated. Five minutes left. I could get to major, but it's, I'm really going to have to struggle to get it. I think I should have gone for the VK. No, he is behind the house. Yep, you know, that tree makes it easy for the enemy to spot you. They killed my driver. Yeah, so I actually, I have a driver. His name is Manuel. Yeah. Buddhist. Okay, here we go. Cross your fingers. Pray for me. You know, I could go for the objective. I know the sniping position. It's where this medium tank is. You go over there. In fact, that Panther too, he's got the penetration to do it. So he can actually pull it off from that position. Oh, no, wait. I, I meant the Panther. The J Panther has the penetration to do it, not that vehicle. So I will go for the objective. Oh, look at that aim. Can't hit that objective from here. It's possible I need premium rounds to hit the objective, but I'm not sure. I'm going to find out real soon. Yeah. You can't hit that from here. Okay, we'll see if we can do it with regular rounds. Because I don't have any premium rounds. Yeah, I can. Look at that. 369 damage. Oh, that's a game. Yeah, so you can penetrate it from here with the Udis with regular routes. It's got like 288 penetration. I got 7,200 damage, which is pretty good. It's going to put me near the top. And 2,600 spotting damage, which is also pretty good for tank destroyers. Capitan. I'm going to leave the platoon. Okay, I got 7,200 damage, 2,100 EXP, uh, 7 kills, uh, 2,700 spotting damage. Okay, these guys are all known stat patterns. Uh, they all cheat, especially I'm a Martian. He's well-known, cheat, and Hugo, um, Destructor. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, and we know you do, please post below. 70.